Hello everyone. Welcome to my video on installing macOS 8 on ARM64 Chrome OS devices. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to demonstrate the system to show you how it works, and then I'm going to go and show you how to install it. So let's begin. Let's launch uh, Photoshop. Now let's try Netscape Navigator. Crashes. Doesn't work at all. Let's play a video. Looks like the video is pretty smooth, but um, no sound. Let's try some games. How about Oregon Trail? Seems to work fine. So let's try Duke Nukem. Screen's a little fuzzy and uh, can't seem to move the character, so I guess I'm just going to quit. This seems to be great for nostalgia and for some running some office productivity tools, but I don't think this would be good for um, hardcore gaming. This ends the demonstration portion of this video. Stick around if you want to know how to install this for yourself. First thing we need to do is download the ROM and disk image for the emulator. We'll get it from the Macintosh.js project. I'll put the link of the file down below into the description. Once it's downloaded, let's make a temporary directory. And then let's unpack the zip. Let's make a directory to store the ROM in this file. Let's go into the folder where the files exist, which is in resources, app, source, basilisk. We want the disk image. We also want the ROM image. Now we can delete the temp directory and also the file that we downloaded. Now it's time to install the emulator. There is a 64-bit version of the emulator 
but unfortunately there's a bug in it, so we have to install the 32-bit version of it. Let's add the 32-bit architecture. Type sudo gpkg dash dash add architecture. And then we want to select arm hf. Next we want to add contrib to sources.list. So sudo vi slash etc slash app slash sources set list. Now all we have to do is go down to where it says main and right next to it add contrib. If you've never used vi before just move the cursor to after main and then type a and that will allow you to edit it. Now press escape and then colon w enter to write it then colon q enter to quit. Now we need to update the app database. Type sudo app update and press enter. Now it's finally time to install the emulator. Type sudo apt install basilisk2 and then colon arm hf to select the third qubit version. To run it, just type basilisk ii with a capital B and uh, make sure you capitalize the Roman numerals too. Now let's add the disk image that we downloaded earlier. Go to add, then go to that Mac directory we created it before, and then just select the disk image and click OK. Now let's go add the ROM image. Go to the rightmost tab where it says Memory Miscellaneous. Click on Browse. Go to the Mac directory again. Pick the ROM image and press OK. Now let's increase the memory. Let's say 32 megs. And change the Mac model to a Quadra. Lastly, we need to increase the resolution of the screen. Let's try something like 800 by 600. And then start the emulator. And there you have it. Once again, if you like this video, please like and hit subscribe.